Hello, uh, welcome to not a guide, but a showcase of my intended league starter for Path of Exile 3.21. This is self-cast Lightning Tendril Hierophant. So in the patch notes, um, there was an update to Lightning Tendril where it got buffed um, pretty considerably when I did some funky custom modifiers with Path of Building. Uh, I figured out that the damage increase on the stronger pulse, at least, is pretty significant as long as we're scaling crit multi. And so that's kind of the idea of this uh, build. Um, I'm not too familiar with Hierophant or any of this sort of mana scaling type of builds. I'm not sh entirely sure how this build is actually going to go, but uh, if you're interested, uh, stay around and keep watching. I will have the path of building uh, in the description, but I'll go over a little bit of what I was thinking about, at least with this build. To start, we're going to grab a decent amount of these mana clusters. Um, this battle rouse notable, plus uh, the mana mastery of recoup, give us initially just 20% damage taken recouped as mana, and that's going to be pretty good for sustaining mind over matter, which is one of the defensive layers of the build. Other than that, another notable that we need to get is Arcane Capacitor, because we're going to be using Arcane Surge for a lot of our damage. I thought to experiment a little bit with this new Elemental Mastery. Uh, hits have 25% chance to treat enemy monster resistance as inverted. Um, you can see it's actually giving us a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, and the idea behind this is that um, if we're investing more in Lightning Penetration and Crit Multi uh, rather than Exposure and Minus uh, Elemental Res, then this is going to have more value the more we scale those other things. So I think it's worth trying. If it doesn't work out, um, you know, we'll just drop it. The only issue is going to be lining up the uh, Stronger Pulse with this uh, inversion chance, which is not going to happen that frequently, uh, to be honest. But we're casting it a lot, so hopefully that uh, every once in a while you just kind of delete something and it'll be pretty cool. Other than that, this is like a fairly standard um, Templar opening. You can go Sanctity, Disciple, or sorry, Discipline and Training, get Retribution. Um, you can get the Amplify if you want. If, if you feel like it's lacking, you can always invest in a little bit more AoE. But we get a lot of AoE um, from Illuminated Devotion, and also if you want to go the Sanctuary of Thought route, it might be better actually. Um, because this reduced ailment thing for Illuminated Devotion is just not very good. Um, especially because it's very clunky with this Anointed Flesh uh, cluster, which we don't even bother to take. But it's worth experimenting over. I I'm not sure if I'll keep this yet. For sure, though, I think the first two ascendancies you're going to want are Arcane Blessing and Conviction of Power. And then from there, you can either take Divine Guidance or Illuminated Devotion. And then uh, the, the, for the last one, you can either take Sanctuary of Thought or Illuminated Devotion. After the Arcane Capacitor, you can go up, get these nodes are pretty standard for um, spells. This is nice, 40 crit. Um, you can get this crit mastery here, pretty good for, I think, getting through the campaign and killing the bosses. This this cluster, I think, is kind of optional. It depends on how much Chaos Res you want to invest in. Um, eventually, you're going to want to probably get this Protection Mastery. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's a nice quality of life for the maps. Uh, these Power Charge nodes are not super needed until you get Conviction. Um, but by that time, I think you should be around here. This Lightning Mastery is a must-take for increases and in reductions to mana applied to shock. We should be able to get almost max shock effectiveness um, on most things, just by scaling mana. Then from there, we can just keep going into Influence. Um, you'll notice that a lot of this is kind of empty. I was just debating whether or not to take Throat Seeker. Um, this is, I think, a fine node to take, but uh, I'm opting against it in favor of doing something a little bit more uh, on the defensive end. So you can see um, later on in my level 90 tree, I have um, written in blood text, and then I go up here for some spell suppression because we are sorely lacking it. Um, 
I took a jewel node here. Um, I took the protection mastery here, and then I respect out of this um, in favor so that I could take this uh, mana regen. And it's also next to mind over matter, which you can or cannot uh, allocate depending on whether or not you have the Cloak of Defiance or something else that gives you mind over matter. And then we went over here to get Mage Bane and Reflexes because this will give us a little bit of extra spell suppression that we kind of need. So overall, we're getting close to about 50% spell suppression. Um, and our effective hit pool is a lot higher um, just based on the, those extra 20 points. I was theory crafting, maybe trying to put a Thread of Hope here. Um, this lets us do a few things. So... You can allocate some really nice um, notables that are like pretty far from where you want to go. So stuff like Heart and Soul, um, Crackling Speed. You could even keep these two uh, Power Charge nodes and then just drop the three here for some passive point saving, which is like pretty nice. Um, I tried to play with the other rings, but I don't think any of them are as good. Intuitive Leap might be okay as well if you want to get like Prodigal Perfection and anoint something else. But right now I have this anointed. But something else you can anoint is like Nimbleness. I think this is pretty good and cheap, but I think this is like maybe the most value for your early Blight Oils. And then I changed over the Elemental Mastery here because I had to like save some nodes, but otherwise uh, this is like close to what I picture the end game tree to be. For the skill links, on a 4 link, you'll probably get something um, close to like 700k damage. Um, on a 4 link at around level 90, but uh, at that point you can probably get infused channeling at least for the 5 link. And then whether what you want your 6 link to be can pretty much be any of these. You might want to avoid Archmage until you um, unreserved more of your mana pool. But to be honest, I think added Awakened Added Lightning is probably even better. And you can also change uh, whatever else you need to Awakened Added um, as you get it. For Auras, um, just Determination for now. You can do Period of Elements early on. I think the Element Immunity is pretty nice. I don't recommend getting Zealotry, but it's here in case people want to invest more into the spell damage. But we're going to be, you know, standing in place a lot with Lightning Tendrils, so um, I figured it'd be better to invest in the armor side rather than the evasion side. Wrath, we're going to put on Divine Blessing. Um, we don't really want to reserve all of our mana away because this isn't like a Eldritch Battery build. And we want a lot of our mana up because um, Mind Over Matter, you know, gives us a bunch of our tankiness from the mana side, so... This met this uh this wrath will be quote unquote free, um, but you'll have to cast it every once in a while just to get the get the buffs up. This inspiration is like kind of optional, but it'll help with the mana cost because I think this costs something like uh yeah like eight hundred mana. But for our mana pool, it's not too bad, and we do get to um, mana regen quite a lot. Um, Arcane cloak. I don't have ticked because this is not going to be up as frequently as something like Wrath is, but it gives us a decent amount of damage. Um, I don't know if Arcane Surge is worth putting here, um, just solely because it doesn't actually give us the spell damage anymore. They haven't changed that yet. On the life side, we're going to reserve uh, Clarity using Arrogance. This is to enable the new Reservation Mastery um, that gives plus one max alley res if you have both reserved. And then I just put Frostblink here as just whatever movement skill you want. To finish it off, um, for Lynx, we have like Wave of Conviction, um, which will give us exposure. And then you can choose, you know, either Conductivity, Assassin's Mark, one of these, and maybe Link it to Hex Touch. I don't have any of this enabled because I'm not sure about it just yet. Um, but this will give us a decent amount of damage. Just keep in mind, if you lower the resistance too much of enemies, then it will kind of uh, go against this elemental mastery thing. But yeah, overall, um, we're going to get like a pretty decent amount of damage on a six link. And we're going to be pretty tanky overall. It 
bit shore up the the uh, the physical max hit a little bit or the chaos. These items are just kind of very bare bones, um, just like life resistance more more or less. I tried to allocate like a decent amount of chaos resistance as well, just because I could. And eventually, you want to get uh get your gear up so that you can have elemental immunity and 100% spell suppression. And that'll be uh, pretty good. But for for the most part, other than this Cloak of Defiant, it's like pretty um, solo self-found, pretty budget-friendly. I haven't ticked any of these flasks. These jewels are kind of nice, um, but they are not necessary at all. Um, in terms of the damage potential in the late game, I can actually, I think I have this set up here. So like level 21 Tendril, quality it up all your um, stuff. You have just determination, wrath is up, putting arcane cloak up. You know, end up with around 2.6, but just keep in mind that like for the most part, um, in any prolonged fights, we're gonna get increased shock. Um probably at the limit of 50. So you'll do something like 4 million DPS, um, which is more than enough for like most of the content in the game. There is more scaling possible. Um a lot of people, you know, up to Reserve a lot of life, go low life, try Ivory Tower. You can also try like a staff variant. I'm still workshopping that right now. Um, but uh, for the most part, I think this is enough to get people started, or at least to get me started. If you thought this is interesting or you might uh, change your League Starter, uh, you know, give it, give the video a like or a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time.